This duo of wine comes from my favorite part of Napa Valley, which is where I have a family home and where I spent a lot of time during my wedding weekend. It's called Calistoga. Calistoga is so beautiful because it feels like you would imagine Napa felt during the gold rush. You know, Napa Valley, rightly so, has become a great tourist destination. And in places like Oakville and Yonville and Rutherford, you have tremendous established wineries. But the interesting and cool thing about tasting wine and discovering new wine regions is that sometimes if you go off the beaten path, you might find something just that completely surprises you. So in this case, Calstoga, the northernmost part of Napa Valley, is just beautiful. I mean, they still have hot springs. It's where Old Faithful is. You can imagine it just feels a little kind of more rustic and small boutique family owned wineries with old vines and those hot springs and mud baths. It's amazing and I just absolutely love it. So this week I sourced both of our Cabernets from Calistoga. It's actually quite warm there and it really makes for opulent and delicious Cabernets. I couldn't wait to show you our next door winery Cabernet from Calistoga. This is 100% Cabernet Sauvignon from the northernmost part of Napa Valley called Calistoga. And for full disclosure, I am involved in the winery. Actually, I'm the president of the winery, but there's absolutely no way I would have ever put this wine in the weekly tasting, or any wine for that matter, that I didn't wholeheartedly believe in. It just so happens that I'm helping this group of three fantastic women bring this wine to the public because it's so good, more people need to know about it. So Next Door Winery, it's next door to some of the best vineyards in Napa Valley, some of the most historic. And this small family-owned, friends and family-owned property is just so boutique and beautiful. They use organic um, uh, treatments in the vineyards and the wine is vegan. But more importantly, it has been so long since I've been able to find a Cabernet Sauvignon that was new, that was affordable, that was drinkable and amazing. And this 2014 is showing beautifully. Let's take a look at the color. It's a Cabernet color. So that means that dark, opaque, almost purple, um, uh, deep, intense color. And when you smell it, it's all about that California sunshine. The Mediterranean climate just shows in this vintage. It's overripe blackberries, black plum, juicy, perfectly picked. It's got that cedar and vanilla. This wine spends about 20 months in French oak, and it's got that spice and vanilla, and kind of cocoa, roasted coffee, and still that signature slightly herbaceous at the end, that almost like basil or fresh um, tobacco leaves, things like that. Mm. On the palate, I feel like this wine is Napa Valley Cabernet at its finest. Juicy, big, delicious, voluptuous, rich. This begs for a steak, but it's also really great just to enjoy in a fireplace on a cold night. I hope you love it. The Tatashi family winery is Cabernet Sauvignon from the 2013 vintage. And this family emigrated in 1919 from Italy via Rhode Island and then landed in California. They founded the winery um, in 1919 and um, started growing grapes in Calistoga, which is currently where the winery is located. And the reason I picked this Tedeschi family winery Cabernet Sauvignon is because I think they're a little bit more of the traditional, old school, old world inspired winery. And I, I feel that that really, um, it, 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 it complements and contrasts with the next door winery, which is also um, a family owned and small boutique winery, but they're making wine a little bit more rich and opulent. So in this glass, you have a little slightly lighter color, still kind of uh, garnet and really deep and dark and intense. The nose doesn't smell as ripe. It's a little bit more floral, has a black cherry, black plum, cassis berry, and the typical Cabernet Sauvignon, but perhaps a little bit more restrained. It's really cedary and fills, fills the mouth. It's full body, but it has a, a more zipped up or restrained finish, just kind of a little bit more herbaceous, slightly lighter in body and a little 
um, rustic in nature. It doesn't show as much of the new um, oak, so the, the oak is judiciously used. So if you're looking to start a uh, dinner and you're serving some lamb chops and um, green salad or vegetables, I think the Tedeschi family is a really beautiful wine to go with that. And maybe finishing off with the next door would be a great idea too. I love these two wines and I think they, comp they complement and they contrast each other and they're both from Calistoga, a place you need to visit. I couldn't imagine a better job than sourcing, finding, tasting, and discovering new wines on your behalf. I'm so excited about these two Napa Valley Cabernets and I hope you are too. You probably are like me where you love to taste new and exciting wines that you've never heard of and that's the thing about the weekly tasting. We're doing a lot of tasting on your behalf and sending you wines curated by ourselves that we feel are the best examples of that region. I hope you love these two Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignons and that you visit, you visit Calistoga in the near future. Cheers.